For this segment, I'd like to talk about decanting wine. Uh, there's really two reasons why we decant wine in a professional setting or even at home. Uh, the first reason is going to be because we have a wine that has a little bit of sediment. Uh, it could be a big full body wine that has been resting for a little time and has developed some sediment. Uh, it could be an older bottle of wine that over a uh, number of years has developed the sediment for the same reason. Um, the second reason why we decant wine is actually to incorporate oxygen into the wine. And this can actually add a lot of enjoyment and pleasure, especially in a restaurant setting where we're opening up a bottle of wine and serving it almost immediately. Getting that oxygen incorporated into the wine can really help it to really kind of take a breath and breathe. I mean, the, the, the old adage that the wine needs to breathe is, is almost true because that wine, remember, has been in a bottle for who knows how long. You know, it, it could have been just a couple of years or maybe longer if it's, if it's, a, if it's a nice old bottle. Um, and, and that wine literally needs to take in a breath and putting it in a decanter can really help the wine do that. So, uh, most of the time though, we are going to probably be decanting for aeration to incorporate oxygen into it. Either way, there's a couple simple steps that, that should be uh, taken into account when you do decant wine. So first of all, let's talk about decanters. I've got a couple here. Um, this is the decanter uh, style that you see a lot. It has this nice wide base. This is sometimes referred to as a ship's decanter because it has a relatively low center of gravity and uh, on a ship that might have been moving around, it would have been good to keep it from rocking around and perhaps spilling. Uh, the other type of decanters, uh, for the most part, come in a shape like this, kind of like a bottle. Um, still a little bit lower center of gravity, but nice kind of efficient and, and sleek style. Uh, not very ornamental, but uh, you know, not much different than a regular bottle itself. I like using these kind of decanters because they take up a, a, a relatively small amount of room on the table, if I'm putting it on a table, which can be crowded. Um, they're also easy to handle. Um, the larger decanters, these are sometimes, you have to turn them over almost all the way to pour, which is not always the, 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 the easiest thing to do if you're reaching across a table. I like these because they're easy to grip and they work really great, just look nice. So, um, like I said, decanting wine, there's a couple reasons why we do it. Uh, I want to get air into, into the wine and I've got a bottle here that's already open. So, when I decant wine, uh, I'm going to go through the proper steps to present the wine to the guest, let them assess it, and at that point it's when I'm going to actually decant. Now, I want to make sure that when I decant I have a good firm grip on the decanter, and I also have my serviette or napkin. And I like to put the serviette right between my, um, right on my fingers, right between my index and my middle finger. And I hold it there, basically about the same spot that I'm going to be holding the bottle above to decant. And I put it there because I want to make sure that any drips that come from the bottle while I'm decanting go onto this rather than onto the decanter, the floor, myself, or my guest. So I've got a bottle of wine that's already open. I'm going to keep my hand facing away, the label with my hand facing away so that the guest can see it as I decant. And I'm going to turn that bottle over and remember I am uh, decanting for aeration. So I'm going to give it a nice kind of, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it just kind of glug in there. You can hear that. I'm getting a lot of air. It's bubbling in there. I'm not trying to be delicate. I want to get that air in there. So I get the wine in. It's all proficient. I then drag this down just real quickly, pull any drips away. And I'm going to take this bottle and I'm going to actually set it right on the table in front of the guest who ordered it because I want them to see that. Okay? So the wine has already been confirmed that it's sound. And at this point, I'm going to go through my process of serving. Uh, I've got my serviette to catch drips, uh, just like I would if I had a bottle of wine. I'm going to go around the table, come back to the original guest who had ordered the wine, finish off their service. Assuming that I have some wine left in the decanter, I'm going to ask the guest if I can take the original bottle away, because it's taking up space on the table. I'm going to replace that with the decanter, with the wine in it, and that's it. Basically, I'm done. Uh, I'll come back periodically just like I would if I had a bottle of wine that was on the table to, to check and, and refill any glasses that are needed. But uh, uh, pretty simple. Uh, the decanter really should be looked at just as, a, as another bottle uh, that you're transforming the wine into to give it aeration. Now if we were going to decant for sediment, I would actually treat that uh, bottle of wine a little bit more delicately. Uh, there's even a setup where you might put a candle or use a flashlight. I used to actually carry a flashlight with me, just a small one, and uh, I would decant the bottle very carefully using that flashlight so that I could watch the sediment as it would go uh, into, the, as it would stay in the bottle, but the wine would go into the decanter. 
Um, these days, most restaurants are using relatively young wines. Uh, wines don't have as much sediment. Uh, we're not serving older wines that have a crust on them. Uh, so we're really decanting for aeration, and that's important. I think decanting is a great added service technique. It's going to enhance your guest's experience. It adds a little bit to the wow factor. So employing this technique is a, is a great way, uh, I think, to, to create an overall excellent level of service.